Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we saw how to create a modern navigation in WinCC Unified. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up communication and run a simulation step by step. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to send and receive data between a PLC and an HMI using TA Portal and WinCC Unified. We'll use a simulated PLC with PLC Asylum Advanced and connect it to a basic HMI project in WinCC Unified. Let's get started. First, we need to add a PLC to our project. For this example, we'll simulate a motor, which has a status bit and an integer value representing speed. To monitor these values, we'll create two PLC tags inside a data block. Since we don't have a real PLC, we'll use PLC Siam Advanced to simulate it. That means we need to download and install it from Siemens page. As we are using Taya Portal 19, we need PLC Sim version 6. I have it already installed in my computer. Now we need to enable the simulation support in TIA Portal to allow our PLC program to run in a virtual environment. Now let's add an HMI device and create the connection with the PLC. Next, we need to create the HMI tags linked to our PLC tags. Now let's create a screen to visualize the motor status and speed. Add new screen, create a new visualization. Add a circle to indicate motor status and an IO field for the motor speed.
Before downloading the PLC program, we need to configure the communication interface in Windows. Open Control Panel in Windows. Go to PGPC Interface Settings. Select PLCSIM Virtual Ethernet Adapter TCPIP ON. Now let's open PLC SIAM Advance, select Online Access TCP IP Single Adapter, and create a new instance with the same IP address as our PLC. We are now ready to download our PLC program. Now download the PLC to the instance. If you get a compilation error, it means no user has runtime rights for full access. To fix this, go to the security settings and either create a new user or assign full access permissions to an existing one. Now simulate the HMI.
Now let's test if the HMI is communicating with the PLC. As you can see, the values update in real time on the HNI. When we toggle the motor underscore status, the lamp turns on and off. If we modify the motor underscore speed, the display updates instantly. And that is all. Remember, every great project starts with a good idea, motivation, continuous learning, and hard work. Keep pushing forward. To stay up to date and never miss a thing, subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the next video.